Wizard of Oz, the green flag wave. Uh, the Australian Grand Prix is underway. Good start there from Fabio Quattro. Shot into turn one, look at Ian Oney. Crutchlow is first. Here comes Rossi. Rossi leads. Rossi, a oh. Quattro's down. That was a factor to Catty. It was Petrucci. Huge high side for Petrucci at the southern loop. Unbelievable stuff here as they come in towards turn four. Rossi leads there, number 46 from Cal Crutchlow. Ian Oney here. What a massive high side from Danilo Petrucci. Not the first time this season we've seen on the very first lap. David Chioso, this time Petrucci high sides. Not enough heat in that tyre. High siding takes Quattararo for six tenths of a second. Rossi from Crutchlow. Marquez got a really, really poor start. And you know got a dream. From Valentino Rossi. Crutchlow, the 2016 winner then. Up into second place. He and only he was second here last year. On that factory of Prilia. What a job he's doing. And Mark Marquez then in fourth place. Tardotti believes the black one here in Australia, just on the three tenths clear of Cal Crutchlow. You know he's still keeping Marquez. This is the moment involving Petrucci and Quattararo. Yeah, he's gone in wide. Poor old Fabio Quattararo, well, who was wide yeah, himself. Quattararo actually was going to be running on the grass himself. Quattararo was pushed out wide and launched himself skywards. It was a bit of contact. Oh. A minimal bit of a nudge there from Mark Marquez. Nothing in Lost the rear. Quattararo was already out wide. Nothing he could do about it. Petrucci, Quattararo down and out. Rossi step and places in tent. We're on board here with Vinales. He's not made a great start. He's desperate now to find a way past that. Well, not a good first lap at all for Maverick Vinales with that soft rear tyre as well. He wanted to get the good start and try and break away. Still Rossi that's making the headway. Is he about to be swallowed up on the brakes into turn one by Cal Cox? So we know the Honda's got the still keeping Marquez at bay. What a performance by Andre Unoni. Can he make it incredibly? Andre Unoni podiums on the Ducati, podiums on the Suzuki and fighting for the podium on the Aprilia. Outstanding performance. Rotate Marquez up the inside of Ian Oney then. He moves up into third place on the brakes into turn four. And then right on the rear tyre of his factory Suzuki. Alex Rins next in his eye line is Jack Miller. Then your race leader Rossi. We know that he's got great pace, Alex Rins, but he's always giving himself so much work. Yard is on the inside of Alicia Spargo, and you know he's fought, fought back. He's taken that third place back from Mark Marquez. Found a way from Alicia Spargo. The pole man and last year's race winner fifth. What a job from the Aprilia riders. Marquez, he's trying to find a way through. Jack Miller, quite slow his lap of the race. Quite slow leads. Cal quite slow hit the front then. This is unbelievable. We've never seen this from the factory Aprilia. You're only up in the second place. Rossi picked off by Crutchlow. From an Aprilia, <laughs> then a Yamaha in third. Into br the brakes. Oh, Nian only. That's in third. Mark Marquez in fourth. Maverick Vinales now trying to charge through on him. The top line covered by less than one and a half seconds. Number eight, under pressure from Yanoni. Rossi still not been able to retaliate on his fellow Italian. Down to turn 10. Yanoni's going for it on the brakes. Up the inside of Cal Crutchlow. And an Aprilia in the hands of Andrew. And the final quarter in lead. The Australian Grand Prix. <laughs> Vinales has gone through on Mark Marquez as well. So Mark oh, and look, look at Cal. Something must have happened there to you, don't you? The Honda didn't just blitz by there. I mean, Honda is now trying to sweep around the outside, then the inside of Mark Marquez. Rossi's out wide at the southern loop. Mark Marquez, the top three. It's down to 1.1 seconds now, the gap between that top nine. It is Moto3 in Moto2. On that from Mark Marquez, and Rossi moves up ahead of Vinales as well. Yeah, Rossi really tucked it out on the brakes into turn four. He's going to take that place. So he's now top Yamaha in fourth place. Davizioso at the moment has not been able to make a way to the Miller and Alicia Spargro. Alicia Spargo is doing a brilliant <laughs> job. Here's the factory of Prilly team. They are... Phillip Island, what a race we've got here in store. Crutchlow leads, Marquez second, Ian only third, Alves and Rossi. Big question as well, will the weather have its say on things? But Crutchlow... ...is going to lead over the line to start lap number six. His lead over Marquez... How many are in it? And how many times do we come to Phillip Island, Keith? And, and, say that. and it produces this track. It's harder for someone to pull away around this track. There goes the Honda, found his Honda lane, drove straight past, but he seemed to have heard that before, but it's Iannone who's making the difference on that bike at the moment. Fourth place, Maverick Vinales, the pole is really good there. Rawr, go on, stick it in with a big sideways action. Everything on this year's Honda. He's got the Repsol factory version behind him. They're virtually the same motorcycle compared with Lucio Cecinello Racing's independent team. Personnel is the biggest difference in factory garages. What, what's going to be interesting at the front with Cal and Marquez, Marquez has a um, motorcycle, they normally go for the same tyres. But Cal has done this before where he's picked a tyre that's absolutely worked. Cal has done it before and I've seen him make that decision. It's his birthday next week. Happy birthday present. 
and just think one he could give himself well yeah 12 months ago he was uh, in hospital scary stat honda's first second and last this weekend we figured top 15 would be good top 10 would be brilliant for zarco well, first time he's ever seen marquez takes a long look over his shoulder and the problem is with poor old zarco he's just not had a run out wet in the first session behind cal at the moment and lorenzo's 15 seconds so zarco's 10 seconds already see so you yeah, know he has no confidence absolutely. so he doesn't want to push in cool conditions so has maverick vinales as well he's followed mark marquez through maverick vinales we know he has late race pace is he is whether cal crutchlow's rear tire is the real gem in this whether he has chosen absolutely the petrucci took him out with his body so this was all when cal, oh, yeah. cal checked up that yeah. which was a bit of a problem for for Cotteraro, he ended up having to go wide and then Petrucci, as you said earlier, got greedy. Right. Yeah, as he tipped into the corner, Fabio lost the rear, you saw, and that's yeah. why he was really wide. It almost flicked him off before. But... You don't get over those kind of bruises in a week. Still Cal Crutchlow leading. And it's a good live heart rate of Maverick Vinales. It's going to go up in a minute if he gets up the inside of... He does, so Maverick Vinales, Crutchlow leading, but Maverick Vinales, the pole sitter's now after him. He won in Assen, he's looking to do it again here, that's for sure. Well, it went up one beat per minute, up to 130 yeah, from I think, 12. I think mine's a mile <laughs> higher than his, sitting here with you. What, to be able to 